Welcome to Garden Bound. Today, we're diving into a natural solution for pest and fungus problems in your garden. Baking soda. Our gardens are delicate ecosystems, balancing soil, air, water, minerals, nutrients, and life both above and below ground. When this balance is disrupted, pests like aphids, spider mites, and fungal outbreaks can take over. While a healthy, strong garden can often repel these issues without intervention, sometimes we need a little extra help. Enter baking soda, a household staple that has been touted as an effective treatment for both pests and fungal outbreaks. In this video, we'll explore why and how baking soda works, and share methods to safely and effectively use it in your garden. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Let's get started. Baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, is a versatile compound composed of one sodium atom, one hydrogen atom, one carbon atom, and three oxygen atoms. It's a naturally occurring substance found in the mineral natron and is widely available in grocery stores. Besides its common uses in baking, cleaning, and deodorizing, baking soda's benefits extend beyond the kitchen to the garden. As a pesticide, baking soda releases lethal doses of carbon dioxide into the systems of pests such as aphids, spider mites, and caterpillars when ingested. This process begins when the pests consume the baking soda, which reacts with the acidic environment in their stomachs to produce carbon dioxide gas. This gas buildup disrupts their internal pH balance and physiological functions, ultimately leading to their demise. Aphids, for example, are small, soft-bodied insects that feed on the nutrient-rich sap of plants. These sap-sucking pests can cause significant damage by depriving plants of essential nutrients, leading to stunted growth, curled leaves, and the secretion of a sticky substance known as honeydew, which can attract other pests and promote the growth of sooty mold. When aphids ingest baking soda, the compound reacts with the acidic environment in their digestive systems to produce carbon dioxide gas. This gas disrupts their digestive processes, causing their internal pH balance to shift dramatically. As a result, aphids become lethargic and eventually die from the internal disruption. Similarly, spider mites are tiny arachnids that feed on plant sap, often creating fine, silky webs on the underside of leaves. These pests can cause extensive damage, characterized by yellowing leaves, reduced photosynthesis, and overall plant stress. When spider mites ingest baking soda, the production of carbon dioxide within their systems leads to a collapse of their internal pH balance. This disturbance interferes with their metabolic processes, ultimately causing their death. The gas buildup is particularly effective against these small pests, which are already vulnerable due to their size and the delicate nature of their physiology. Caterpillars, known for their voracious appetites and ability to strip leaves from plants, also suffer from the ingestion of baking soda. These larvae of moths and butterflies feed heavily on foliage, often causing significant defoliation and weakening the plant. When caterpillars consume baking soda, the subsequent buildup of carbon dioxide in their digestive systems interferes with their metabolic processes. The increased internal pressure and altered pH balance disrupt their ability to process food and convert it into energy, leading to their eventual death. This interference occurs before they can cause further harm to the plants effectively reducing the damage they might otherwise inflict. While baking soda may not have the same broad spectrum effectiveness as insecticidal soaps or chemical pesticides, it offers a targeted approach to pest control. Insecticidal soaps work by disrupting the cell membranes of insects, leading to dehydration and death, and they can affect a wide range of pests. Chemical pesticides often have a broader and more immediate impact, but they can also harm beneficial insects, pollinators, and even the environment. In contrast, baking soda provides a more selective solution, impacting only those pests that consume it, thereby preserving beneficial insects and maintaining ecological balance in the garden. Moreover, baking soda is a safer alternative for gardeners concerned about the use of chemicals in their gardens. It is non-toxic to humans and pets, making it an ideal option for families with children and animals. Additionally, it is environmentally friendly, breaking down harmlessly in the soil without leaving harmful residues. To maximize the effectiveness of baking soda as a pesticide, it is important to use it correctly. 
Mix a solution of one teaspoon of baking soda with one liter of water and add a few drops of liquid soap. The soap helps the solution adhere to the leaves and pests, ensuring they ingest the baking soda. Spray the solution directly onto the affected plants, covering both the upper and lower surfaces of the leaves where pests are likely to reside. Reapply every few days during an active infestation and every two weeks as a preventative measure. Baking soda's real strength lies in combating fungal diseases like powdery mildew, which affects a variety of plants such as squash, zucchini, and roses. Powdery mildew is a common fungal disease characterized by white, powdery spots on the leaves and stems of plants. If left untreated, it can significantly reduce the vigor and yield of affected plants by hindering photosynthesis and nutrient absorption. Baking soda helps prevent fungal outbreaks by creating an inhospitable environment for fungal spores. When baking soda is applied to plant surfaces, it raises the pH level on the leaf surface, making it more alkaline. Fungal spores thrive in slightly acidic to neutral pH environments, so this shift in pH disrupts their ability to germinate and grow. Moreover, baking soda disrupts the ion balance within the fungal spores. The high reactivity of baking soda interferes with the ion exchange processes that are critical for the survival and reproduction of fungal cells. This disruption leads to the breakdown of the fungal cell walls and ultimately kills the spores on contact. By creating these unfavorable conditions, baking soda effectively prevents the establishment and spread of fungal infections. Using baking soda as a preventative measure is more effective than attempting to cure existing infections. Once powdery mildew or other fungal diseases are well established, they can be difficult to eradicate completely. However, regular applications of baking soda can keep fungal spores from gaining a foothold in the first place. This proactive approach helps maintain the health and vitality of your plants. Scientific studies have demonstrated the efficacy of baking soda in managing plant diseases. Research conducted by the University of Florida found that sodium bicarbonate effectively inhibited the growth of powdery mildew on cucumbers and squash. In controlled experiments, plants treated with baking soda sprays showed a significant reduction in the severity of powdery mildew compared to untreated plants. Additionally, a study published in the journal Plant Disease demonstrated that baking soda sprays could reduce the severity of powdery mildew on roses by up to 90%. To use baking soda as a fungicide, prepare a spray solution by mixing one teaspoon of baking soda with one liter of water. To enhance the efficacy of the spray, add a few drops of liquid soap and two teaspoons of vegetable oil. The soap acts as a spreader sticker, helping the solution adhere to the plant surfaces, while the oil helps to suffocate any pests and repel fungal spores. Apply this mixture to the plants, making sure to cover both the upper and lower surfaces of the leaves. For optimal results, apply the baking soda spray every two weeks as a preventative measure, or every three to four days during an active fungal outbreak. It's important to begin treatments early in the growing season before fungal problems become established. Regular applications can help keep fungal diseases at bay, ensuring healthier and more productive plants. To use baking soda in the garden, create a dilute liquid spray. A commonly recommended mixture includes one liter of water, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of natural castile soap, and two teaspoons of vegetable oil. The oil helps suffocate pests and repel fungal spores, while the soap ensures the solution adheres to plant surfaces. This mixture can be applied every two weeks as a preventative measure or every three days during an active outbreak. Using baking soda effectively in your garden involves specific applications as a soil amendment, fungal and bacterial inoculant, compost booster, and natural fertilizer. Where do you spray this solution? Spray the mixture on both the upper and lower surfaces of the leaves. Fungal spores and pests often reside on the underside of leaves, so it's crucial to ensure complete coverage. You can also apply the mixture along the stems of the plants, especially where you notice signs of fungal infection or pest activity. If there are signs of powdery mildew or pests on flowers and buds, lightly spray these areas as well. Be gentle to avoid damaging delicate flowers. If pests are an issue at the soil level, you can lightly spray the soil surface around the base of the plants. However, avoid saturating the soil to prevent disrupting soil pH balance. In summary, baking soda is a versatile, natural solution for managing pests and fungal outbreaks in your garden. By understanding its properties and applications, 
you can effectively incorporate it into your gardening practices to maintain a healthy and vibrant garden. Thank you for watching Garden Bound. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts and questions in the comments below.